everyone, it's Rebecca with Bex Fine Art, and I am bringing you an updated version of how to paint a resin galaxy. I've gotten some really good suggestions on the first video that I posted, so I felt like maybe it was time to make another one. So, what? here is the painting that I'm going to be showing you how to create and the techniques so you can do it on your own. So, let's take a closer look at the materials and get started on the painting. To do is paint this wood canvas I guess is what you would call it black here's what it looks like so I've gone ahead and painted the wooden canvas black I've done two layers so next I'm gonna be adding all of the stars or I mean some of the stars not all of them um, I have a couple tutorials on that so I'm not gonna talk about it in this video so go ahead and check those out if you're interested here's what the stars look like initially go ahead and show you a little bit closer. So sometimes what I like to do is some of these blue glowy stars um, on that first layer, it kind of helps me determine where I will put the resin. But the hard thing is, is that does sort of limit me and then I feel like I have to put the resin around them. So for this one, I'm not going to put any of the glowy stars on this first layer. After the first or second one, I might go and add some. We'll just see how it goes. The colors that I'm going to start off with for the painting. So we've got titanium white, kind of a dark magenta. I can't actually say that word. A fluorescent pink, deep violet, and then a fluorescent red, which as you can see is basically just orange. So these three are going to be liquid acrylic inks and they work really well to mix with resin. You don't get any chunks like you sometimes do with regular acrylic. The only issues that I have occasionally with them is not using enough of them. So then the resin becomes a little bit more see-through and transparent than I would like. Here is my setup before I start adding resin to this painting. So first I always put my items on top of a trash bag that I've cut open because the resin won't stick to it so I don't have to clean anything off. They can just peel off the resin and throw it away. I'll be mixing and spreading the resin on here with a rubber glove. Mixing the resin with some Dixie cups. And then for my color, I always save the Dixie cups as well as the popsicle sticks. Those are just really good to reuse because once the resin dries, it's hard, so why not reuse it? Here are my colors again. I'm doing multiple resin paintings, so that's why you see some other colors in there. And then this is the brand of resin that I'm using for this. I talked about this before in another video, but you'll want to measure your resin, part A and part B in equal amounts. What I'll do is I'll pour one part into the other. I will stir it one way for a minute and a half, and then stir it the other direction for another minute and a half. I realized I didn't really go over the amount of resin needed for this, but you can see how big the Dixie cups are. I think they're about one ounce. They're probably a little bit more. I'm kind of just basing it off of how big shot glasses are. So let's just assume that the Dixie cup is one ounce. So I mixed a half ounce of res resin in each Dixie cup and that's enough to cover both of these, which this is a totally different painting that's why I'm not talking about it. So it's one of those things that you just kind of have to experiment with the amount. Mix up a smaller amount first, and if it's not enough, you can always mix up more. It doesn't cure that fast, so you can just mix up more if you need it. But hopefully that's a little bit more helpful with the measurements. So you can see by doing this, the resin, auto, or not the resin, the acrylic automatically looks darker and it's less of that charcoal color. So I poured a little bit of resin in each of my cups and how much you do is really up to you. It kind of just depends on how much of each color you plan on using. So what I'm going to do next is just a few drops of color in each cup problem with this is I can't give you an exact amount to put in. Um, I always say just start with a small amount first and then add to it. So I'll do like four drops in here. And then I'll stir that up with the 
more heavy body acrylics, I literally just put a dot of color onto the end of each popsicle stick. But to give you an idea, this is as much as I've put on, and that'll honestly probably be too much for that. It's really just something you have to practice with, and even now I don't always get it right. I'll end up adding too much or too little paint, so it's really just an experimentation, but always start with a small amount first. You can always go back and add more color if needed, versus if you add too much to start with, it's a lot harder to get that mixture where it needs to be. All right, so just to show you some good consistency, this purple is pretty much perfect. You want it to be pretty runny, not too sticky. Um, I think the pink I made a little too sticky, so you can see it's not very runny. It's really just sticking to the end of the popsicle stick, but it'll still work. I mean, any of these are fine, even if they are a little bit thicker. It's It just means it'll be a little bit harder to spread out. I lost my flash, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure you can see it just fine. So the next part is I will take colored resin and I'll just start spreading it where I want the general outline of the galaxy to be. And this is just the first layer, so this will change drastically depending on how many layers I add. So here is my resin before I use the heat gun to spread it out. And then here's what my heat gun looks like. I just got it off Amazon, it was like $11. And so I'll turn that on and I will use that as one of my techniques for spreading out the resin. This is what it looks like after the heat gun. And depending on how I felt about this layer, I would go back and add more color. I'm kind of just gonna see how it ends up drying because so far I like it, so when you like something, it's best just not to mess with it. Okay, so here is the dried layer one. And so going off of this is when I would decide what other colors I want to add, if any, what colors I want to repeat. So I can already say right now, I'm probably not going to do too much of the darker pink. I'm probably going to still do a little bit of purple just because it really does help to blend the nebula in with the background if you have a darker base kind of on the bottom. And I probably won't use as much white for this layer because I've got so much. So that'll just help to bring out the colors of the pink and the orange. Here's what it looks like before I use the heat gun. So I've added quite a bit more of that bright pink on here and I usually do a couple rounds of this. I do one round just to kind of start to see if I'm liking it and then I'll do some more colored resin to add more details before it's finished. So I'm going to let this dry now. I decided to add a little bit of yellow to it just because I felt like it was a little bit too monochrome and it needed something to help make it pop. I'm still unsure of this one but I know once it cures and I start adding details, I you know I'll end up liking it. This one I am really liking and I'm not making a tutorial of this. I actually just made some TikToks of it. So if you want to see some of the process for this one, go check out my TikTok. Um, but I use this really cool color shift green that kind of shimmers gold, which I love. And then I have a couple of my finished pieces right here. So these just got their last layer of resin and they are good to go. So I'm gonna let this cure and then we'll come back with layer three. So now that this layer has dried, I'm gonna go in with some acrylic and just highlight some of the details of this before I do what will probably be the last layer of colored resin. So I'll really be accenting the yellow that you see in here, some of the pink. I'm, I'll probably add some purple into the background as well. These are the colors that I'm using for that. And then I'm also going to add some of those glowy stars to this. That way 
They don't just look like they're sitting on top of everything. They look like they're more blended in once I put that final layer on. Here's the finished piece. You can see that I finished adding all of those purple stars. I added a little bit more detail with the yellow, the white, and the pink, and it really just helps to make it all come together. And the last thing I did was I put resin over the whole thing, so everything is totally sealed and ready to go. everyone thanks for watching if you are curious about any resin paintings that I have for sale please feel free to email me info.bex at gmail.com I'd be happy to discuss those with you and as usual like and subscribe this video all right see y'all next time